Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Tuesday morning and if you're new here, my name is Haley. I'm a first year dental student at the University of Michigan School of Dentistry. We're getting close to finishing up our last semester as first year students. We become second year students in this summer term and it's midterm season right now. So today and this morning, as you saw in the little intro, I took one midterm for my clinical foundations class. Didn't do stellar, but that's a pretty typical score for me. Mid to high 70s, maybe low 80s is pretty typical for the written exams for that class for me personally. So I wish I did better, of course, but that's kind of what I expected. And we have one more midterm this week, but next week we have five midterms. So today is going to be a big study day actually for those midterms next week, specifically getting ready for genetics on Tuesday, as well as reviewing some lectures for our karyology midterm, which is this week on Friday. But nothing in person today, which is really nice. I'm not sure if this will be one day in my life or a couple. I know tomorrow will be a separate video because I'm filming an Instagram controls my day, so that'll either be up before or after this. But Either way, we're gonna do a little vlog of some dental school, some studying, the usual over here. Hopefully you're all having good weeks and if you're also in midterms, I'm wishing you all good luck and spreading some motivation if you need to be studying and everything because I know it gets draining having to put so many hours into school. But if you're pre-dent, remember why you're doing it or if you're in dental school, realize that you don't need to get 100 on everything but everything you're learning is going to benefit a specific patient one day that has a question about something that's happening or that you can diagnose some condition that they didn't know that they have. So I try to remind myself those things when I'm studying and unmotivated that this is applying to real people's lives. This gives me the ability to change people's lives and to help people so I try to use that as motivation when I'm feeling unmotivated to study but it just kind of comes in waves and today I'm feeling fairly motivated so I'm eating some breakfast coffee right now and then I'm gonna get into looking at my to-do list and I'll show you all that and we'll pick some tasks and get moving on a productive Tuesday. mid-afternoon update. It's almost 2 p.m. eating lunch clearly and in all realness I physically feel kind of awful right now. I mean not awful. Things could be a lot worse but I have terrible allergies today. I don't know what's going on. I'm sitting here and this is gross but we're all future health professionals for the most part. I'm sitting here and my nose is just running down my face and I'm sneezing every like four minutes and then my eyes are watering and it's like sticking to my glasses it's ridiculous but usually eating and drinking water I don't know like distracts my body or like cleanses it a little bit so I have like a, a little bit of a break from all those symptoms which is why I can sit and speak for more than a couple minutes without sneezing we'll see but even in my study clips earlier I kept turning away to sneeze I don't know if I left that all of that in there but it was happening and real life but I have a zoom here at 2 for oral health promotion and we're talking about oh, what is it ethical dilemmas related to access to care that's the topic a lot of times he does pre-recorded lectures but this week is gonna be live and we're gonna have a little discussion hopefully again I'll be able to function to discuss and absorb the information because it's a really good topic at 8 I have my small group zoom for bible study small group at six there is a zoom about again let me get the full title correct so i'm gonna look okay this is kind of a broad range of topics but it's basically like an allyship zoom so how to best serve diverse patients in clinic being a woman in dentistry 
and how to be a good ally to the black community as a dentist. So those are like three big topics. So definitely, this is my timer so I don't miss the zoom in two minutes. Um, definitely don't wanna miss that. And then I spent a bunch of time earlier doing some karyology, getting, as you saw, I did like seven attempts to get my extra credit quiz done because you needed to get 100% to get any of the points, but eventually I got it. So I got 15 extra points, which makes me feel really good about the exam on Friday. And also I'm doing a group project for karyology that's, I don't know, 10 or 15 more points that I'm meeting tomorrow to finish that up with my group. But so that's nice that I have a little bit more wiggle room with this exam. However, I'm still trying to study because with 520 and karyology, 520 was the one I had the day that I like barely passed. I just tend to not do that well in the exams despite them not being hard sciences and despite me studying and me thinking I picked all the right answers somehow. I don't get like in the 90s like I felt like I should have. I did the first module of karyology already earlier, just looking at my to-do list. I'm working on the second one after this Zoom and then I'm gonna work on my portion of the group project because we wanna finish it before we jump on the Zoom tomorrow. So two more things for karyology that I need to do today. I'd like to do my ass assignment for pharmacology, which as I've said in past videos, that takes like an hour or two at least. So that's a little annoying, but it's worth it because I don't have to take exams for that class. And then the last thing I have to do ideally is a lecture for genetics about transmission or something. It's the first one that's on our exam next week. So I'm just going to read through the script and try to make a quizlet of the important topics. But for now, that was just our little midday update. So I'm going to hop on this Zoom that just started and I will talk to you all later. Okay, I felt pretty drained earlier than I sat in bed for an hour and watch TikToks after that allyship Zoom before our small group meeting at eight. Talk to them, eight to 8.30. Then I would just FaceTime my boyfriend for a little bit and now I'm watching the third to all the boys I loved before and then I'm gonna go to bed. And tomorrow I'm filming that Instagram controls my day. A couple things got canceled, so it's a little bit less busy than I thought, which I'm honestly looking forward to, so I'll have a little bit more time for studying, which is gonna be good. But that means this vlog is going to pick up tomorrow on Thursday rather than Wednesday, because Wednesday is gonna be its own video. Good morning, it's Thursday, 6.45 in the morning. Going to radiology lab. I'm doing an Instagram takeover on fresh dental shadowing today, so I'm kind of like vlogging on the Instagram story too, so it might be a lot to do this and that, but I will do my best to make sure we have vlog footage for you guys. Alrighty, we're rocking the burgundy Metaclo today. Sorry it's dark in here because it's still dark outside. I'm just gonna put my contacts in, make some toast, have a banana, and get ready to walk over to school. It's about 7 right now. I'll probably leave around 7.20, 7.30, and I'm also going to, of course, sit and record some Instagram story slides for that Instagram takeover.
update. I'm back from radiology lab. I think I got some really fun footage in there. I had a great time. We were instructed for about an hour and a half, so we had about an hour and a half to start taking our x-rays. We have to do three FMXs. I'll just put the screenshot here of the requirements, but I finished the one with the RINs, if that's how you say it, and then I started the 360. Um, they're just basically different attachments that you put on to the same little black sensor, like rectangular thing, and you're still kind of getting the same results. One thing that was interesting though, <laughs> that I think people don't realize is how expensive dental equipment is like just the little black sensor that's about this big and then it attaches to a cord and plugs in to your computer to like have the x-rays each one of those is about ten thousand dollars which is just crazy so all those little things thinking about how much goes into our tuition and stuff makes it more feasible that we are paying like forty five thousand dollars a year at a public and in in-state institution um anyways Great time. I'm just eating right now. Have some veggies and then my leftover like mushroom pasta from last night if you watched the Instagram controls my day Wednesday because in this video we jump from Tuesday to Thursday because Wednesday was its own video. But I'm just going to eat and then I need to record the podcast um, because I don't want to take the microphone home. I'm going home as soon as that's done pretty much like back to my parents because I have a dentist appointment on Saturday morning. And I'm just going to do my studying and the rest of everything in the midterm tomorrow from there. Sorry that the laundry is kind of loud, I'll try to speak up, but I wanted to show you guys my week schedule because I don't think I did that yet, but clearly Thursday is winding down, cariology exam bright and early, 8am on Friday, and then I just have so much time to study this weekend, and next week, like I've mentioned so many times, is the big bad midterm week with five exams, so that's going to be very exciting but what I'm doing now is just on my Google Drive here um, what I'm doing now is just going on my Google Drive and trying to find any study guides that have been shared with me from upperclassmen for all of our exams next week and I'm just downloading those onto here so I kinda have all my study resources that I can look at and see what I can add to, what I should use, what's maybe not as relevant if they've changed up the classes. So I'm just kind of gathering everything. And then I'll go ahead and, and then I'll go ahead and start studying more. But this is just a little break before I finish watching the last two karyology lectures. Again, as my review, that's really all I can think of to review was just rewatch them and like read over the slides and like try to make more notes. That's really the best way I know how to study for the class. I have some extra credit points, which is nice from doing extra assignments and things. So hopefully the exam I can get like in the 80s maybe, and then I have those extra credit points to help would be like ideal. Well, ideal ideal would be getting an A, but like realistic ideal is like an 85 or something. So we'll see. I don't know if I told you all this yet, but I took the nervous system exam last Friday. Didn't do well. I was very disappointed in that. Um, because I studied so much and I felt like I understood it. So that was very discouraging when I felt like I understood it, but it didn't translate into my grade. But I got like a 73, I think. And then I got, let me look. Okay, so after all was said and done and they graded the short answer and gave us some points back for questions that they said were unfair, I had a 74.4. And then there was an extra credit worksheet that I got 9.4 points on. So let's do math in our heads here. That would be an 83.8, which is starkly familiar because on exam one, with the extra credit added, I had an 83.9. And now I have an 83.8 on exam two. So, I mean, claps for me for being consistent, right? <laughs> Do I get points for that? Like, <laughs> I wish. But that's, I think I'm going to end off tonight's video here. If I get any more clips, I'll put them in. Otherwise, I'll update you all on Friday 
with just kind of my agenda and some thoughts once Karyology's over. Usually she releases your grade as soon as you press submit. I don't know if that's going to be the case this time, but I do appreciate that. I'm curious though how many points this is because Karyology is a class where like an exam is like 300 points rather than like 100 and things are just scaled in that way for some reason. So I want to look really quick and see how many points this exam is. Yeah, that's what I thought. So this midterm is 275 points. And then we have a group project that's going to be 350. So that's more than that, which is kind of nice that you're like very in control of what you turn in for a group project. We have participation and clinical activity and survey completion, and that's 50 points. And then 275 points, again, exactly the same as the midterm, is going to be our final. So not too bad, but I have right now... From this week, 45 extra credit points. I think I have like 50 extra credit points total if I got 100% on the group project we did this week for extra credit because that was worth 30. So if I got all of those points, I would have like 40, 50-ish extra credit points, which makes me feel better about the exam in case I do like miss some questions, but I'm hoping I don't. I've rewatched all the videos. I don't really know what else to do. This is one of those classes because it's not as science and technical that it's tricky to study but I'm just gonna rewatch those videos once I finish looking at my study guides and resources and just collecting everything that way it can be really productive Friday Saturday Sunday when I'm like studying for this crazy midterm week I don't have to go and scavenge for resources like I have it all already downloaded it's kind of my game plan we took it and the scores didn't pop up right away and then a couple hours later they were posted and I ended up with an 81 which is actually a little bit better last semester I think I got like 75 76 on the midterm in the final so I did go up a little bit I've <laughs> noticed I'm pretty consistently like a mid 70 to low 80 student this semester like across the board in all my classes so like a C to a B minus range which is unfortunate but passing is passing that's the priority I guess like what you have to do and at least I'm doing that so I'm going to keep doing my best today I'm just going to be spending studying for genetics that's on Tuesday and then we also have diagnostic sciences on Tuesday so I'm studying for that as well and then after that I'll kind of worry about periodontics which is Wednesday morning and then after that because I have all day Wednesday I'll prepare for radiology on Thursday afternoon then after radiology I'll prepare more for nervous system and probably also starting on Wednesday for nervous system as well because that exam opens again Friday night and is open through the weekend because some of the lectures were delayed. So instead of taking it Friday afternoon, he's extending the period that we can log on and take it. But once you log on, you still have your set amount of time if that makes sense. That's pretty much all the updates for midterm so far. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Radiology lab was so much fun. I was really nervous about it because I'd heard that like x-rays can be so tough. Like when you go to the dentist and the assistant or the hygienist is taking them and they like miss or something, I think you just assume that they're really tricky and they are. Like I don't think mine are perfect by any means, but we do another radiology lab later and we do a radiology rotation with patients in D2 years, so I'm gonna get a lot better. So right now they're just kind of looking for the basic skills for us to like pass the different x-rays that we have to do. So moving along well, I have my next radiology lab this coming week actually already, or maybe the week after, but coming up again pretty soon. And I also have perio lab this coming week, which will be in the next video on Tuesday night, I believe, or Wednesday night. And yeah, we're just cruising along, cruising through the semester. I'm ready to be done, I think. But I do want to thank you all for watching this video. And this morning, I did wake up to 3,000 subscribers. So thank you all so, so much for being part of that. I really, really can't share enough gratitude for you watching. But more specifically, those of you that do message me and engage with me or comment that... We just have such great dialogues and I feel like you're learning a lot, I'm learning a lot from a lot of you, whether you're a dental student at another school or a pre-dental student or even a high school student, there's a lot of you in high school too. So I do just want to say I appreciate you and I hope you all feel part of this community. 
I do have the podcast Facebook group that I want to offer up again as a way that I'm trying to foster a community where you all can meet and talk with each other beyond just directly talking to me. I'm also also in there, but that way if you ask a question, you can get perspective from other dental students, not just myself or other people taking the DAT. You guys could form a little encouragement group or something. So I do encourage you to join that Facebook group. It's just dental download podcast Facebook group and then just answer the questions and I'll approve you to become a member of that. And I do have a 3,000 subscriber giveaway coming as soon as I can. I was reaching out to some people today so I'm just waiting for all of the products that I'm able to give away to arrive to me. And then I'll do a YouTube video post about the giveaway but also on Instagram itself and then whoever wins, I'll ship everything collectively to that person. So I'm just waiting for me to receive the items. That way I can show anything in the video. But I think that's actually finally everything for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.